I'm your host, Lisa Mulcahy, a marine biologist and educator with Reef Keeper Belize, based on beautiful Tobacco Key in the Southwater Key Marine Reserve near Dangriga. This is Alexander Moore, Reef Keeper's assistant educator, and I'm Amy O'Brien, former host of DIY with Ames and Savage Unicorn YouTube channel. We're here, here to, to take, take a dive into undersea Belize. Belize. Gary, our Goliath grouper, our mascot. Goliath groupers need our help for its protection since it's an endangered species. It can grow up to eight feet in length and live more than 50 years. Actually, this grouper is a youngster. I'll be back a little later with your activity and to find out what you have learned today. So make sure you pay very close attention. Tuning in. Last episode, we explored how different organizations and people are caring for or stewarding the sea. We also learned that humans can do a lot to care for their marine environment. Reef Keeper Belize sincerely hopes that after discovering how much the Belize Barrier Reef mangroves and seagrass do for us, we give back to protect and keep our reef and coast healthy. One of the largest threats to the ocean and human health will be our focus today plastic pollution. Plastic pollution has so much of an impact that by the year 2050, if people continue to use and generate plastic as they currently do, there'll be more plastic in the oceans than fish. Amory, do you have any idea where plastic comes from? Well, I'm not too sure, but does it come from oil? Yeah, you're right. The main material used to make plastic comes from crude oil and other petroleum products. Well, oil is natural, right? So what's the problem with that? Well, I'm going to tell you why plastics are not good for people or the environment everywhere, although we see plastic everywhere. Plastic are chains of like molecules linked together. These chains are called polymers. This is why many plastics begin with the prefix poly, polystyrene or polypropylene. Poly means many. The styrene or propylene is the molecule of plastic. Plastics are lightweight and easy to mold. This is why they're used in packaging. They save on weight for shipping and can be formed into many useful shapes. Can you think of a few things that are made from plastic? Plastic, however, has many downsides. Its lightweight nature ensure that it floats. Water, wind, and waves transport plastic to all parts of the globe and make plastic pollution a worldwide problem. Some of the floating trash you see in the ocean, also called marine debris, may have originated as far away as Europe. In fact, in a large area of the Pacific Ocean called the Pacific Garbage Patch, plastic, both big and small, collects in an area where currents meet and swirl to create a giant patch of trash. This trash creates hazards for sea life and it ends up on beaches and on coasts. Most importantly, plastic will never really go away. While paper will rot or break down and get absorbed by nature, plastic only breaks down into smaller and smaller bits. Unfortunately, these bits find their way into the human food chain. For example, imagine a barracuda or barrow. It eats herring or sprat. This herring feeds on tiny microscopic floating plants. If some of those tiny items in the water are plastic bits, then the barracuda or barrow ends up eating all of the plastic bits that the herring ate. Yuck. Remember how we talked about the reef food chain and how organisms are interconnected in one big web? That's what happens when a small amount of plastic enters into the web that's only meant for food. At the University of Belize, researchers are actually finding tiny bits of plastic in our food. Also, those bits of plastic, due to their nature in water, attract and concentrate toxic pollutants on their surface. This can't be good for sea life, for people that eat seafood or people that bathe in the sea. So why does all this matter? Plastic, in order to make it soft for molding, contains chemical softeners, many of which have harmful effects on the body. These chemicals, such as BPA, also known as bisphenol A, and phthalates can act as hormones, changing the way our bodies function. Many of these chemicals are known cancer causers and are banned in other countries. Plastic is the most commonly used product to hold our food. 
This is because of the fact that plastics are cheap, easy to make, and readily available. They flood the market and people purchase them without thinking twice. But what happens when people put hot food in plastics that are not really designed for heat? All of the chemicals from the plastics, such as the softeners, transfer to the food. And when we put hot food into plastic containers, we're slowly poisoning ourselves. If you don't believe me, just pour boiling water into a clear plastic container and see what happens. Just like you would not want to eat coal, tar, or gasoline, plastic is not great for your body. Beyond the effects on humans, plastic in the environment is very harmful to sea life. Plastic bags floating in water look like jellyfish, one of the sea turtles' favorite foods. Plastic rope entangles turtles, whales, and dolphins, cutting off their limbs or drowning them. To many sea creatures, plastic, especially red plastic, looks like food. In some islands near the Midway Atoll, where plastic garbage concentrates, bird stomachs are mostly filled with plastics. They die due to starvation. Plastic clogs up whale and dolphin stomachs, causing them to slowly starve and die. As a country, Belize has done a great job at enacting bans to protect its ocean and reef. For example, Belize banned oil drilling in the sea. The new phase out of single-use plastics is also designed to keep the jewel clean and sea life healthy. Today we're very excited to welcome Belize's Department of the Environment to talk about the importance of the phase out of single-use plastics and how Belizeans can comply with the new regulations. I would like to introduce Shani Rayburn of Belize's Department of the Environment. She's an environmental technician and thank you so much Shani for joining us today and we're so excited about you enlightening us about plastic pollution. Thank you, Ms. Lisa, for having us here. So, what do you see, Shani, as Belize's major problem with plastic pollution? Well, Ms. Lisa, Belize has two major problems with plastic pollution. One, apart from organics, plastic make up the largest part of waste. A study done in 2011 shows that 48% of waste are recyclable waste. However, 19% of those are plastics. Two, the improper disposal of plastics pollutes the environment and harms fishes and other species. Belize actually imports and manufactures so many plastics and styrofoam. In one year, Belize imported 52 million pieces and manufactured 5 million pieces of styrofoam food containers. What is shocking is that Belize imports 200 million and manufactures 35 million plastic bags. What's even more shocking is that this study suggests that these numbers are really underestimated. When we look at the amount of waste at the regional sanitary landfill, we know that all that plastic and styrofoam does not make its way there because we find these same plastics and styrofoams on roads, in drains, and unfortunately, near riversides and seasides. Wow, those are some really surprising facts. Don't you think it's a good thing that Belize is eliminating single-use plastics? Yes, I certainly don't want to see any turtles choking on plastic bags. Yeah, it's sad what humans are doing to the planet and with plastic pollution. Yes, but what can we do? Reefkeeper Belize would love to know more about what DOE is doing to help eliminate single-use plastics and how viewers can help. So. Since 2018, the Department of the Environment has worked tirelessly with businesses and other community to carry out the phase-out of these single-use items. A phase-out means that it will be done in a step-by-step -step process. The single-use plastic items included in the phase-out are only plastic shopping bags, containers, cups, balls, plates, utensils, straws and styrofoam cups, plates, balls and containers. To help eliminate these single-use plastics, the department has passed Pollution from Plastic Regulations on January 2020. That will control the importation, manufacturing, sale and possession of these single-use plastics. The phase-out is being done in phases, thus the name. No more importation of prohibited items by April 15, 2020, so we have already passed this date. No more manufacturing of prohibited items by January 15, 2021. No sale of the prohibited items by April 15, 2021. 
and no possession of the prohibited items by July 14, 2021. However, I know that viewers at home also want to know how they can help. Here are a few tips. One, take your own reusable shopping bag when shopping. Two, use your own straws when drinking your juice or smoothies. Three, take your food containers when you purchase food. Choose to use paper cups, plates, and utensils for parties instead of plastics and styrofoam. Or even better, use the same plates, forks, spoons, glass that you have at home. Most important action that you can take is to refuse to use those single-use items. Reefkeeper Believes wants to remind our viewers of these six reef-friendly activities, such as bringing your own reusable bag to the grocery store, bringing your own cup for takeout drinks, and make sure that your garbage is secured in a proper garbage bag and in a proper bin. You can also get your own reusable straws. Hashtag save the turtles. Here are some simple things you can do to help keep the reef and be a reef keeper. Mind what goes in your land. Oil, weed killer, dish soap, and laundry detergent are not good for the land or the reef. When at sea, remember three. Don't touch corals or animals. Make sure you anchor on the sand and dispose of engine oils in the proper containers. Don't eat any colorful parrot fish, sharks, goliath grouper, or other grazing fish. And lastly, remember to follow the regulations because they are there to protect our beautiful creatures for our future. See you later, fellow reef keeper. Bye -bye. So far when it comes to cleanup in particular, I use the organization BTA Dangriga. BTA Dangriga you arm was formed in 2019. And our main goal is actually make a change in Dangriga. So we go by the slogan, let's make a difference. And let's beautify Dangriga at its best. So far, we have done several different beach camp in Dangriga. We actually did one in Oceana. Also, it's some military personnel, peace work. Most recently, does some water at Dangriga. So we have youth, many youth from Dangriga. What we try to do is that while you guys um, they are cleaning up the beach, we have them learning other skills. So we have in the picture above, um, the young lady put in um, some of the same debris from the ocean, just the grass material to actually um, create a better root system for the um, coconut trees. In terms of promoting the youth to continue to be stewards of marine, the marine environment, why do you feel this activity is really important to get students engaged and helping to keep the marine environment clean and doing the right thing with their personal activities when they're at home during, during the week? Well, by having them clean up the beach, you actually have them build up mindset when it comes to actually be more careful when it, wherever they dispose of their garbage. So um, then walking home from school, they can just throw it in the drain because eventually it makes its way into our beautiful ocean that we call, which we call home because it provides income for us. And it also have them be able to teach their younger siblings. Because most of the time when they clean up, we have some of them who bring their cousin or their friend or little brother to be a part of it. So they actually will from one generation to another just making a difference. So it, it's a consist, consistent and continually um, change being taken place in regards to the stewardship of their plane. Hey Amory, what do you think about burning plastics? I think it's horrible. That sure can't be good for you. You're right. The reason plastic acts like fuel when you burn it is that it's made from the same ingredients petroleum products as fuel. Those chemicals from the plastics end up in the air, the ground, and then end up in groundwater. You can tell by the smell and the taste in your mouth when you breathe it, it's not good. Probably smells disgusting. Please keep Belize's fresh air clean by not burning plastics. Burning of plastics and garbage in a hole is a wide practice across Belize in villages as well as towns and cities. It pollutes the air and causes health problems. We know that people often use a styrofoam piece to light up a barbecue because it's so easy to light. 
These plastic pieces release chemicals and poisonous gases, which are what we call persistent organic pollutants, which are POPs. You can learn more about POPs at StopThePops.com. Check it out. Belize's laws do state that you need to apply for a permit before engaging in any action that causes pollution. In fact, this year's fire season, the burning issue was on everybody's mind when all the smoke from both wildfires and intentional fires caused breeding problems among people. We all need to be considerate of each other because we don't live in individual bubbles. What you do impacts someone else and what someone else does impacts you. If smoke and poisonous gases are inhaled, it can instantly cause coughing, shortness of breath, and dizziness. For this reason, the department discourages you not to burn any waste, including plastics. Quiz time! It's quiz time! Question 1. What are plastics made from? Question 2. Why is burning plastic bad for you and the ocean? 3. What plastic item looks like a sea turtle's food? 4. Name three actions you can do at home to reduce plastic pollution. And question 5. How many years does plastic stay in the environment? Activity time! Hi guys, this is Gary the Gooper with your activity for today. Today we're going to see how many bags you collect, can collect at home. Materials, one collecting container. In your household, record the number of bags your family use in one week. Multiply that number of bags you collect in one week times four to get the number you use in one month. What would happen if 50 households in your area uses the same amount of bags you use per month? What would happen in one year? That's a lot of bags, guys. Try to remember, bring your own bags to the store each time you go. Hello everyone. Today we'll be making a mother bunny and a baby bunny plant holder using recycled material. You will need a plastic bottle, white spray paint, silicone glue or hot glue, toothpicks, some googly eyes, construction paper, a permanent black marker, a knife, or scissors with parent supervision. First, you cut the bottle to your desired height, and then you use, using your scissors, you cut the ear, and then you spray paint it white. After the white spray paint has dried, cut out pink construction paper to make it fit in the ears. Stick on the googly eyes, cut out a small circle for the nose, and cut two picks in half and color them with a black marker. The whiskers. Using the same steps, you can make a bigger one too. Now you're ready to put your seeds in the flower pot. And now your garden will be fruitful and cute. You can also experiment with different animal designs to beautify your garden. For this pig, we used the whole bottle and covered it in foam. And for the ears, the tail, and the legs, we used shiny foam. Now you know how to use plastic bottles to help protect the environment. Thank you for watching! Wow, we've certainly learned a lot about plastic pollution today, haven't you, Amory? Yes, I learned that plastic often looks like food for animals. It stays around forever and contains harmful chemicals that are released when heated. I really hope everyone keeps Belize clean by eliminating plastics and putting them in the trash bin. Be sure and check out our Facebook page at Reefkeeper Belize or YouTube to learn about the prizes and surprises and a chance to participate on a field trip to the South Water Key Marine Reserve with the rest of the students on the field trip. Each correctly answered quiz question gets a t-shirt 
Post your experiment photos and results on the Facebook page to receive fabulous prizes. Bye everyone. Amory's off on some adventure somewhere and the Goliath grouper's off swimming in the mangroves. It's been great. See you next time.